Hello everyone, welcome to my channel on understanding finance and sports. My name is Faisal Hasnain and today we'll be talking about sports and cryptocurrency, an interesting topic. So let's initially just talk about cryptocurrencies and the blockchain technology. The cryptocurrency, which is a digital currency, initially in the form of Bitcoin, was launched in 2009. So it's, this industry is about 12 years old. And in the last few years, the world has seen exponential growth and increase in the value of the world of cryptocurrency. Now today, there are over 4,000 cryptocurrencies in existence. Bitcoin is just one of them. In April 2021, which is just about three months ago, the value of the cryptocurrency market topped two trillion for the very first time. In 2010, soon after it was launched, one Bitcoin was valued at eight cents. And at its peak in April this year, one Bitcoin traded at over $62,000. Now, Bitcoin is legal tender in El Salvador. This is a huge step for the cryptocurrency market. Now, recently China has restricted the mining of Bitcoin and its value has fallen from its peak of $62,000 a few months ago to around $34,000 today. That's a drop of 45% from its peak. It shows you how volatile this currency is. Yes, we've just mentioned it's an extremely volatile market and anyone entering this market as a speculator or trying to make money, money from this market has to be extremely careful and you really need to know what you're doing. So let's talk about cryptocurrency and its impact on the sports industry. So the world of cryptos has also entered the world of sport. And in the last few years, sport has started using the crypto world to its advantage. And parts of the sports world has started transacting in cryptos. The sports industry realizes that the crypto and blockchain technology has the potential to increase revenue streams as well as enhance fan experience and engagement. We'll look at this a little bit later. And some athletes' salaries have started being paid in cryptos. Some tournaments and events sports events have started giving prize money in cryptos. Sports betting companies have started transacting and accepting payment in cryptos. Player transfer fee in cryptos are being considered by certain clubs, sports clubs. Some clubs in the English, English Premier League are being sponsored in cryptos. Sports clubs have started offering crypto token to fans to buy merchandise. In future, clubs could also allow fans to purchase tickets and merchandise directly in cryptos. And in future, clubs can use the crypto blockchain technology to implement more secure and transparent ticket exchange markets, authenticate sports mer merchandise and reduce ticket touting. And this is just the start. Now, let's have a look at some sports deals which involved cryptos. In the cryptocurrency industry in the last few years, Crypto brands have been increasingly turning to sports sponsorship as a way to raise awareness and to enhance 
customer confidence in cryptocurrency. Remember, the sports industry is the most highly watched industry in the world. It is followed by billions of fans worldwide. And a major event such as the Olympics or a FIFA World Cup, or these days, the, the, the European Cup, the Euro 2020 or 2021, I should say, um, is being followed by hundreds of million, if not billions of people. So if you want to be seen, then in that case, sports sponsorship is a very, very good idea to move forward with. You will certainly get a lot of people uh, who will become aware of your association and your uh, association with the sport. Now, so far, the main sports interacting with the crypto industry are football, motorsports, and esports, but others, I am sure, will follow. So let's have a look at some uh, sports and crypto related transactions and sponsorship deals that have taken place. BitPay and the St. Petersburg Bowl. This was in 2014. It is reported that the first genuine cryptocurrency sponsorship deal between a company and a rights holder saw crypto payment company BitPay sponsor the St. Petersburg Bowl, which is an annual postseason college football game in the US. Now, this is a good example of the initial challenges facing crypto brands in having to educate the public about the technology first. BitPay themselves weren't the actual brand that was named in the sponsorship. And instead, they paid to promote Bitcoin itself. Hence, the event being known as the Bitcoin St. Petersburg Bowl, which you can see in the logo out here. So that really was the first well-known commercial deal involving sports and a cryptocurrency, in this case, Bitcoin, back in 2014. BitPay and Kyle Busch Motorsports, a deal done in 2015. This time, BitPay promoted themselves rather than Bitcoin in what is probably the first ever cryptocurrency sponsorship deal involving a professional sporting organization. Kyle Busch Motorsports is a team in the US-based NASCAR series, and the deal saw the cars emblazoned heavily with the BitPay logos, as you can see here. CashBet and Arsenal Football Club, a deal done in 2018. Now, after the BitPay deals, it would be nearly another three years before cryptocurrency sponsorship really started to take off with CashBet's sponsorship of EPL football team, Arsenal. Now, not only did this deal start the sustained era of crypto sponsorships, but it was the first involving a major global sporting team. Arsenal is one of the most famous teams in the world football teams in the world, and therefore its association with cash bet and the crypto market, I am sure, uh, was very good and uh, generated a lot of publicity for the crypto market. It's also significant as it was the first deal in what would become a dominant theme in crypto sponsorships, namely gambling and betting. The deal was designed to promote the launch of Cash Bet Coin, a cryptocurrency specifically designed for use on Cash Bet's online gambling platforms. Assetarium and the World Seniors Snooker Tour in 2018. Now, this deal is unusual for a number of reasons. Cryptocurrency is a very modern technology and tends to be marketed towards the younger, sporty and digitally savvy population. Hence football, motorsports, esports. Yet 
Here is a cryptocurrency, Esoterium, which sponsored the seniors element of a very traditional, conservative and non-mainstream sport when it's certainly compared to the likes of football and motorsport. So while this does come as a surprise, it shows the inroads that cryptos are making into various sports across the board. In 2018, Turkish football club completes player transfer using Bitcoin. Now this is really a very, very small transaction. And uh, I think uh, it was according to the uh, uh, club chairman or the club CEO, he basically said that they did it so that they could be the first to do it and get some publicity. But nevertheless, it has gone down in history as the first um, uh, crypto uh, transaction involving a player trans transfer in football. So in 2018, the uh, Turkish amateur football team, Harun Ustaspur, announced that it will part pay for the club's newest signing in Bitcoin. The club's acquisition was a 22-year-old player who was signed for around 0 0.07 Bitcoin and $661 in cash. So a very, very small transaction, probably done for the publicity, uh, but nevertheless, it's there in the record books as the first uh, transfer of a football player that was dealt with in cryptocurrency. Okay, eToro and seven English Premier League clubs in 2018 again. Now eToro is a popular social trading platform. You buy and sell shares on that platform and they've been advertising very, very heavily in the last two to three years. With the aim of promoting its crypto trading service and cryptocurrencies in general, eToro partnered with seven English Premier League teams all at once. That's a pretty, pretty sizable transaction. Notably, the deal estimated at between seven to nine million dollars was paid for entirely in Bitcoin. The clubs in question were Tottenham Hotspur, Brighton and Hove Albion, Cardiff City, Crystal Palace, Leicester City, Newcastle United and Southampton. Now the value of those Bitcoins between seven and nine million dollars today is over $40 million. So the clubs that are still holding on to those have made a huge gain on, uh, on, on, on that transaction. Chile's and FC Barcelona in 2020. Although not a traditional sponsorship, blockchain firm Chile's partnered with Spanish football giants Barcelona to produce Barca fan tokens. We'll talk about this a little bit later. 40 million fan tokens costing two euros each went on sale, enabling fans to buy, earn and redeem tokens around various exclusive activities. Now, Barcelona's move into blockchain was part of their global expansion strategy to build fan engagement through digital means. Chili's, which runs the fan voting and rewards app Socios, has partnered with many rights holders along these lines, including the world's top mixed martial arts organization, the UFC. Now we'll talk about uh, fan engagement tokens in a little more detail, uh, a little bit down the line. Nakin and Sparta Rotterdam. Cryptocurrency exchange platform Nakin's sponsorship of the Dutch first division football club is open and creative. It's a very transparent deal. The club will earn bitcoins based on its performance and the ongoing amount they earn will be public information. At the end of the season, the bitcoins will be released to the club and the club can sell them whenever they choose and invest the proceeds in their youth academy. It appears that in future, brands will increasingly require a performance related element in the cost of sponsorships. And this is a great example of an innovative way of doing this. So what 
Nacken said was that Sparta Rotterdam not only had to perform well, they had to spend their money on developing their uh, youth uh, development program. Aston Martin Formula One collaborates with Crypto.com. This was a deal done in 2021, earlier this year. In March, Aston Martin Formula One became the first Formula One team to partner with the cryptocurrency platform Crypto.com. The terms were that Crypto.com would look after exclusive fan engagement activations and explore new opportunities for crypto traders. Both the companies are looking to bring a fresh perspective to their business through this partnership. Crypto.com will gain penetration into the F1 audience through this partnership, whereas Aston Martin F1 will increase its branding amongst the crypto enthusiastic community. McLaren strikes a partnership with BitC.com again earlier this year. McLaren, the globally revered Formula One auto racing team, entered into a long-term partnership with Turkish crypto firm BitC. By the terms of this deal, BitC.com will create an official fan token for team McLaren. According to McLaren, it is a first of its kind partnership through which BitC.com a cryptocurrency exchange will become an official partner of McLaren. The token will be digital limited edition ones. Procuring these tokens will allow the fans to become partners of the team that they support. Here, the token owners will earn certain voting rights on certain decisions made by the team. And then there are several other uh, perks, rewards and advantages as well. Now, let's look at NFTs, what are called uh, non-fungible tokens. What are these? So let's talk about sports and NFTs, non-fungible tokens. Another crypto spin-off that is gaining momentum in sports is the NFT, non-fungible token. NFTs represent a wide range of unique, tangible and intangible items that are stored in digital wallets. These are, for example, collectible sports cards. It can also be virtual real estate and even digital sneakers. <laughs> An NFT is not interchangeable. It's one of its kind. Each NFT represents a unique digital item. The market for trading cards and collectibles is a multi-million dollar industry. Enabling fans to immortalize sporting moments in pictures and in other various mediums. NFTs also contain distinguishing information that is unique and easily verifiable on the blockchain network, each accruing value as each specific NFT cannot be replicated. So for example, here we are talking about uh, digital uh, tokens that are made available to fans. But anything really that is unique can be packaged as an NFT. It is non-fungible uh, as opposed to being fungible. Fungible is when things can be interchanged, exchanged. So money, a, a $10 bill can be exchanged for two $5 bills. Both, all those three notes are fungible items. A $10 bill can be exchanged for another $10 bill. Both of those are fungible items. But for example, an example of something that is unique, uh, which is non-digital, could be for example, the Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa is unique and can be packaged and, and sold as an NFT because it is the only one of its kind in the world. Now, as an example of the, the way matters have started moving when it comes to NFTs, in March 2021, earlier this year, Jack Dorsey, Twitter's founder and CEO, 
auctioned his first ever tweet as a non-fungible token, as an NFT. It was originally uploaded on March the 21st of 2006, and he tweeted, just setting up my Twitter. The tweet was bought using Ether cryptocurrency and had a final bid of $2.9 million. Jack Dorsey donated the proceeds to charity. Can you believe it? That someone actually paid $2.9 million to get Jack Dorsey's first ever tweet on Twitter, something that we can all download uh, and, and print out. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing. But there we are. Okay, FC Bayern Munich announced a partnership with Sorare, an Ethereum-based blockchain fantasy football game. On the Sorare platform, gamers can buy and sell digital limited edition football cards. Collectors can exchange player cards, build teams, and receive incentives based on real-world performance of the players. Okay, now the, NB, the NBA's Top Shot includes a selection of digital game highlights that are licensed by the NBA. It is a blockchain-based trading card system that has produced gross sales of over $230 million. Wow! Users can purchase and, and, and sell short clips of famous and popular basketball players match highlights using the site. Each player has their own highlight reel, which is unique due to the unique serial number assigned to it. So what they're saying here basically is that, let's say there's an NBA match, there are 30 excellent moments uh, in that match. Those clips, which could be five seconds, 10 seconds, uh, are uh, cut out and put on NBA's Top Shot, shot site, and they can actually be sold to, 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 to someone. And that someone now owns that digital clip, which he can further sell uh, onto, onto others. Um, the, 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 the business obviously is still evolving, but let's have a look at NBA's uh, Top Shot um, uh, website and what it's uh, promoting. So this is the um, NBA Top Shot um, website. And um, it says, own the NBA's best moments, buy, sell, and collect officially licensed digital collectibles featuring iconic moments of your favorite players. And you can see uh, out here that uh, they're showing uh, a clip from, a, uh, from an NBA game that uh, one can actually buy. And there are probably thousands like this on their website. Okay, we've mentioned fan engagement tokens previously. So let's have a look at what these are. The last few years has seen the introduction of fan engagement tokens, which are similar to club membership cards. Fan tokens are created and distributed amongst fans through a fan token offering, an FTO, which is similar to the concept of an ICO, an initial coin offering. But unlike an initial public offering, an IPO, fan tokens do not represent ownership in the equity of shares in any sporting club. So you don't become an owner of a club if you have a fan engagement token. But the venture is still extremely profitable. For example, FC Barcelona generated $1.3 million in less than two hours after going on sale in the Chile's exchange. Barca fan tokens were sold in 106 different countries. Wow. Now, a crypto fan token 
is a form of cryptocurrency that allows its holder access to a range of sports club specific membership perks, including voting rights on certain club matters, club rewards and experiences. They can therefore influence certain club matters. So if I hold a fan engagement token, there are certain things which the club will open up to its FET holders and those that community uh, will be able to vote on certain things in the club and uh, be entitled to certain rewards and perks. It's like a VIP uh, pass, but uh, allows you much more than what a VIP pass allows you. Now, unlike non-fungible tokens, which we just spoke about, crypto fan tokens are fungible, so they are exchangeable. The token that I have is probably the same as the token another person has. This means that the tokens can be exchanged for sports club merchandise and other VIP experiences. These are fully fungible digital utility and can be bought and sold on crypto exchanges. So they actually can be bought and sold. They have a value and that value could go up or that value could go down. Like cryptocurrency and NFTs, crypto fan tokens are built on the blockchain. However, they are a relatively new crypto asset. It is uncertain when they first made their appearance in the crypto scene, but they started gaining attention, <clears throat> especially after football club FC Barcelona's crypto fan token launched to the club's supporters. So they are fairly, fairly new. And since then, there has been absolutely explosive growth. Okay, we've mentioned Chili's and Socios.com uh, when we talked about sports fan engagement tokens. Now, what are these? So Socios.com is a sports club fan influence and rewards app that allows you to have your say on certain club decisions, get recognized as a super fan and earn exclusive rewards using your crypto fan tokens. Chili's is a digital currency used in the world of sports and entertainment platforms named under the abbreviation CHZ. Chili's goal is to sell coins to millions of sports and e-sport fans so that they can have direct voting power in their favorite football clubs. So both these organizations, Socios as well as Chili's, are working together to create a fan engagement token that is like a cryptocurrency that can be bought and sold on cryptocurrency exchanges. And the holder of that token or that cryptocurrency has certain uh, rights um, in relation to the club that issued that token. A very interesting concept. Now, continuing on FETs, Paris Saint-Germain and Juventus were the first two major football clubs to partner with Socios.com. The fan tokens PSG and JUV are listed on the world's leading crypto exchanges, Binance, Parabu, and Upbit in the Cayman Islands, Turkey, and in South Korea. Many more leading sports organizations have partnered with Chile's, including Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, AS Roma, and Istanbul Baskei Seher, as well as esports organizations such as Heretics, Navi Alliance, and OG. Chile's has also entered into agreements with the UFC and the MMA, Mixed Martial Arts. Now, okay, so some concluding comments. <clears throat> Cryptocurrencies and the related blockchain technology are a new phenomenon and often difficult to understand. That is very, very true. It's something that is evolving, something that is very new, complicated, technology-driven, 
and it is complicated especially when it comes to the blockchain technology and therefore difficult to understand it is also very difficult to predict their movement and values we spoke about the volatility in the crypto market you know things seem to move without reason as a result despite the surge in interest in digital currency sporting clubs and sports fans should be aware of the dangers that this new technology possesses wherever there is uncertainty there's going to be danger wherever there's uncertainty there's going to be risk and despite its extraordinary publicity and progress the changing values of crypto assets is unpredictable and the legal and regulatory landscape is new and unsettled it's a growing market it's an evolving industry and right now it's got a long way to go due to the high volatility and lack of consistency sports organizations need to enter into arrangements that hedge potential liability or volatility especially if the sports organization is a not for profit organization then in that particular case it must try and limit its downside through some sort of hedging on the other hand the emergence of crypto assets provides potential for the sporting world to increase its offerings which we saw and revenues in a number of new and innovative ways that's very true i think that this industry opens up a whole host of opportunities for sports club to sports clubs to introduce new and exciting products for its fans and followers and for the sportsmen involved of course and it brings a completely new dimension within sports and its finances yes absolutely it does so thanks a lot for watching this uh, i hope you enjoyed this uh, short introduction to crypto and sports i look forward to seeing all of you again soon in the meanwhile this is faisal signing out